<clears throat> All right, so Mike thought I could hop on here and do something. I don't know what, but he has these wild ideas. So I told him I would do something I've never done before and branch out. So I've been watching Sheldine's fine art tutorials over on YouTube and she's like a fabulous colorer. So I'm going to try some of the things I've been watching her do over there on her channel. And so I went and found this little photo over at PNG tree and I will <laughs> see if um, any of that stuff works. <laughs> so we're going to wing it. I know it's crazy. Okay. So we got this first and first thing she does is to get her picture onto her special paper. And this is Canson, my text paper. I don't know. I'll find it and show you later if you're interested in that, but we're going to put it on here. So what she does is she takes some pan pastels and she puts it on the back. So let me get out. I think I brought a little wiper in here. I'm hoping one came in this little box of pan pastels that I've picked up. How about this? Am I not doing it right all wrong already? No, you're fine. It's oh. just for some reasons. Some's not coming through. It's not what? Some's not coming through. You're okay. That's why we're doing this. <laughs> doing it wrong already. Hmm. What am I supposed to be louder? You couldn't hear me. No, you're too loud, and I oh, can't I'm hear the loud. music. I'm too loud. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm still in the yellow. There. How's that? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Huh. Yeah, that's not coming through for some reason. Is it playing? It's playing. Here, we can do it this way. Hopefully, this is probably got feedback like crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry, people. <laughs> it's got feedback like crazy. Mm. Uh, Nobody's watching yet, anyway. He's going to maybe be on. That's okay, because in the middle of my forehead, I have this little dot. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> And a giant stripe down the middle of my face because the sun came out. Yeah. I can't even see that all there. Why did they close that all down? Dang it. Mm. <clears throat> Would you like the chair back? Yeah, let me the chair back and then people can watch my <laughs> ugly mug for a minute. Oh, testing, <laughs> testing. This is why we test people. This is why we test things. Mm. Just feel happy that we decided. We're trying to figure out how to put music on there. We decided to share this with all of our favorite people that watch your streams. <laughs> oh, poor them. Yeah, they get the little behind the scenes look right now. Oh. Um, I think maybe. Maybe the sun finally decided to come out. Maybe we can take this down. All the craziness that happens. Maybe Behind the happen. scenes. Come on. We'll fix the... The green or whatever's going on over here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get rid of that line on the middle of your forehead. <sighs> of course, it probably didn't. Oh. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. We have to go get Lexi in just 25 minutes. I know. I will go do that. <laughs> as soon as I get this going here. <laughs> hey, Jeanette. Hey, Cloud9. We don't know what we're doing. We're trying to fix the music. Can you guys hear the music? <laughs> Try something new. Hopefully it's not feeding back like crazy. Hi, Jada.
Oh, good. You can hear the music. It's not too loud, is it? Oh, I forgot. You can also check. You can also do that right here, too. You can also knock it down right here. Oh, okay. It's kind of loud. Well, you can hear it. Is the, is the music too loud? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks, <Jeanette>. Thank you. <laughs> We want it to play in the background in case I'm not talking. You can okay, still hear it, there. maybe. Okay, you guys don't have to look at my ugly mug anymore. <laughs> oh, honey. Calm down. Mr. Hobby Haven. Okay, let's put this little thing over here. Okay. All right. That's better? Okay, good. He turned it down. We're testing out some new things to see if we can... Because um, sometimes I don't, I don't talk all the time. So, you know. So, anyway... My idea is to, <laughs> Mike wanted to check out some live stream stuff and try to set some settings up for us. And I thought I would do something I have never done before. So I'm going to wing it. So, oh, he's coming back. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. <laughs> so your feedback in like crazy, so. I need to turn the volume over here. Mm, yeah, I think it's this volume here that's causing, oh, not that volume. Don't do that. Don't shut that one off. I just hit the mute button. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to test something. If the music gets too loud, I'm sorry, folks. There, okay, try that. Okay, now is the music too loud? Do you have this camera thing, this little screen thing up here set up so it follows my head? Yeah. Oh, that's new. Kind of creepy. Okay, so he had, he had to turn the sound off on my computer, so hopefully that's not too loud. Let me know if it is too loud, and then... Um. Oh no, he's coming back again. What are you doing now? Uh, now the music's off. Oh, because he turned it off because on the I computer. Turned it all the way down. Yeah. There's got to be. <laughs> oh well. So. Okay, so turn it up a little bit and then go down and see if it has feedback. It, it's got a feedback. There must be some kind of setting you have to put on there so no, it gotta, only plays. I have to do it on a different input, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, so what does Jeanette have to say over here? I can't see. Okay, so maybe it has to be on a different thing. Hmm. It's coming back again. Let me try something. <laughs> He needs a chair. <laughs> okay. Poor feet. Poor people will have to look at my ugly face. Well, you and plus you set up the camera so it follows your head around. Uh -huh. Lucky you. Okay, let's try to fix the mm. sound here. Okay, so let's go. Oh, I'm gonna let you go with this for a little bit, and then I'm gonna figure. Oh, wait, there's gotta be a different way of doing that. Hold on. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Let's see, can't feed it through that. I wonder. Let's try. This. Uh, that's going to sound icky. Um, that'll sound icky. Okay. Now it's going to be input device. Okay. Now. Mm. Uh, we can temporarily do it this way. And then I'm going to figure out. 
Oh, no, I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it. Okay. And now what do you got? That should work. Okay. Okay, so now there we go. Be... Let's try that. And okay, let's try that. Okay. All right, let's try that. Okay, so how now? House of music. <laughs> Sorry about that. Remember, it's a test. We're just testing. All right. So anyway, we're going to. Anyway, I got the. <laughs> Forgot where I'm at. I watch Sheldine's channel all the time, and what she does is she puts some of this pan pastel stuff on the back of her picture, and then she transfers it onto this special paper. So we're gonna try that. Maybe we can get it open. Oh, of course you. Well, it helps if you take the wrapper off. Okay, do I have a piece of paper? Let me get a piece of paper. And let's... Okay, one more little sound. Oh my goodness gracious. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Just one more little sound. Turn it up a little bit more? No. Should be good. Okay. It's kind of loud. Do you think it's kind of loud? For me, it seems kind of loud. Okay. Anyway, so I don't know what this is going to do when it open it open. So I'm going to use the little piece of paper here because I don't want it to make this huge mess everywhere. Because I've never used this stuff. Okay, so she takes her thing and she dips it in here and then she puts it on the back of the paper. We'll see how it goes. Remember, I've never done it before. seems maybe it needs to be a little bit darker I don't know okay let's go with that I don't want to make a mess this looks very messy okay let's put this over here and then let's tape this down down it <laughs> sorry about that I have this stupid cough okay let's try Okay, down and touch. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so I'm gonna tape this onto here because I wanna be able to take it somewhere else. I don't want it to be stuck in here forever. So let's go ahead and tape this. Okay, so, oh, I'm gonna need another piece of tape for my stuff here. Okay, so after she's put the stuff on there, she takes it and she turns it over and she puts it onto her paper, onto the paper. Okay, and let's tape it. 
I'm gonna stick it on my pants a couple times to see if it's so it doesn't get stuck there permanently. Okay. And then she uses a little scoring tool, an etching thing, to etch some lines. So let me get that. I think this will work. Ooh. Okay. So. Then she takes this and she does some little where she wants to put some lines on her paper. So let's do... Around his ear. Okay, let's lift it up and see if it works. It does! Okay, continue on. Okay, so we're going to have his head go up here like so. I turned it down to one of his knees no, you're down fine. No, you're fine. I was, forgot <laughs> I had to open up the... Okay, so we continue on like that. And let's do... He's going to have some eyes, so let's do his eye. I like that music. Hmm? I said I like that music. And then, just because I don't know what I'm doing, let's go ahead and do a little line here that says this is going to be black hair. She makes it look so easy. Okay, and let's do... Yeah, make sure we put a link to her. To her uh, yeah, I will. Give her a good shout out. Okay, so let's do... Okay, I'm gonna go figure out how I'm gonna do this. Get that music in there better. Okay, I'm gonna woohoo you in a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay, so go like that. Let's see. Ooh, look, it's on there. Pretty impressed so far. Okay, so then we go down here and she's going to have his little hand. Let's go. And it's like anything, I'm pretty sure that the more you do it, the easier it will get. Hopefully. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna go around. What else we got? <clears throat> okay, we've got his face, we got his hand. Better go. Down. Make his mask here, and then he's gonna come down here. He's got his hand. And his little face is gonna go out. Let's do. Add some little check marks in here so we know what we're doing. Okay, and his arm comes around here. And this is his, oh, then he has his foot over here. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little line here too so I know this is the grass. He's got like a little patch of grass that comes over here. <laughs> this is going to be the worst looking raccoon on the planet. Uh. 
This must be his tail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So we're gonna go with this. Take this off. that off a little bit okay so now in my picture um, the little guy's got some green back here so I'm going to use some of that pastel stuff to do the green in the back so let's dig through our box and the box says landscape on it so it should have green hopefully oh here's a green right here let's see what else I got does it say on the thing of course not So we got some peach, mm, darker brown, green. I can tell you right now that when you buy these, you should definitely buy them not like this. I'm gonna have to get some lids for these so that they're, because they don't say <coughs> what color they are. So these look like, what's this one? Oh, red, there we go. Um, get on there. <laughs> what do these go? Oh, this looks like it maybe has green. There's a blue green. Oh. Looks like I screwed that one. Green. Oh, okay. I think this one's the winner. Okay. I'm not loving these boxes. What's this got? Oh, this looks like it's got a bunch of browns. Yellows. Okay. So when you buy these, do not buy them like this with a little set. Unless you buy the lids that go on top so that they look like this one. Okay, so it comes with this little spatula thing, and this one looks like it has some little parts underneath. So let's take the lid off that and get one of those out. I think they all come with parts on the bottom. Let me check. Oh, yep, see there's some square ones. What's this one got? This one has a wedge and some little eyeshadow things, and then this one has a wedge thing. Okay, so this must go on here. Come on, you. Next time Michael, that my Mr. Hobby Haven suggests we just do whatever, you um, definitely should say no. Can you buy? Yes, these come in a portrait pack. Jeanette, if you want me to order you one, let me know and I will order some in. I just don't have them in the store because I had no idea what they were. Okay, so we've got some greens. Let's do green. I'm going to just take the lid off because... But you can also buy these so they come... In this little set but you can buy these little lids separate so I'm gonna do that because this is gonna be a pain in my fanny not being able to see what color it is okay okay so my picture we've got some green and some light green so I say we start with let's start with this and then we can add on to that, I'm thinking. Okay. So I'm assuming maybe I need a little bit bigger thing. This seems like it maybe is for smaller ideas. Um, 
wasn't there another one? Oh, on the bottom of this. Let's get this thing out. That looks promising. This thing. Okay, let's go ahead and try putting it on with this first. I'm going to put this up here. But this, this chalky stuff, this pan pastel stuff comes in like 80 colors. So I picked it up in this little landscape one just to try it out to see if, how, if I even liked it first. You know, I see all these great things on everybody's channel. I don't know how that happens. And then I got to try it out. Okay, let's go with, let's add this bright green one next, this kind of olive color. I wonder how it goes over the top. <gasps> Whoops. My little guy here has like a little halo around him, so let's see if we can leave it lighter around that. Around him. I'm liking this light green color over here. Let's add a little bit. I wonder if you mix it together. Hmm. I think that's a little too blue. Now let's add, let's do this dark green one. Cause it's kind of dark up here at the top of our picture. So let's go. Oh, Mr. Hobby Haven's going out to the bus to get the child. This this chalks the pan pastels is supposed to make it easier so you don't have to do the whole background when you're doing the colored pencils. Because doing colored pencils in the background can be kind of a pain in the fanny. some kind of brush you're supposed to have maybe to 
I guess I should gonna have to watch the videos a little bit more that she brushes this off with maybe Okay, let's go with that. Wonder if this blends it better. Hmm. Okay, so that kind of picked up all my excess stuff and smushed it in. move some of this stuff. Um, okay, let's get a baby wipe. Because this is a mess. I don't know if I would love this. Oh, good. Thanks, Jeanette. The wand will help with blend. Have you used the, the pan pastels before? You're an expert? <laughs> I'm definitely not an expert. Like I said, I just ordered these offline because someone else was using them. I'm like, I'm going to so try that out. But I'm the kind of person who doesn't like to get anything on me, so I don't know if this is going to be for me. But we're going to try it. Okay, let's go down just a little bit. Okay, so we got our little guy here. So I'm thinking that I'm going to work on some of this green because I'm pretty sure that you go over this now with some pencils. So I've got my little color chart. Whoops, there goes the box. <laughs> Love the mess. That's cute. They do make a mess. I'm going to give them that. And I think this one, I put one of the wrong colors in here. I'm definitely going to organize these so that they're better organized. And get some lids. Because I don't like that. How that's like that. Okay, let's store all that. My pencil sharpener. Let me put the end on this poking tool so I don't stab myself. Going to the hospital to get stitches is not in my plan for today. Okay, so green. Okay, so a little guy here has a bunch of green. So let's see. Let's do... I'm thinking this 908 right here is looking pretty promising. So that's dark green. So let's go dark green. And then let's go kel kelp green. And then for this one, let's go um, Kelly green. Six. And then we got this really light section. So let's do, how about this, 1089. Let's 
And then if we need really light, we can go to 89. <laughs> Polychromos are pretty awesome. <laughs> I used those today for the first time. I've had them forever, but uh, today was the first time I used them in my Bible journaling this morning. So, okay, let's see if we can wipe this just a little bit. I'm afraid I'm going to put my arm in this and just make a big, huge mess. Okay, there. We'll start with that. But at least it's not, like, distressing because it didn't stain my hand green. All right, so let's go with... Let's start with this dark green one and put it up here at the top and see how that goes. Okay, and then we'll go with the next one, which is 1090. And then this seems like it's kind of down here at the bottom too. So let's put this down here. <laughs> I tried not to get the, the, the water onto the paper or the paper towel. Let's go with 1095. Mr. Hobby Haven has returned from collecting the child. Did it pop up on you? Hmm? This thing? The alert box? I don't know. A little woohoo? Um, yeah, they did something, I think. Did it? I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think it did. Oh. <laughs> Are you supposed to do it being paying? I'm not looking up there. Yeah, well, you'd hear it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Man, my eyes are getting so bad. What are you trying to read? I'm just trying to copy that. <laughs> You're trying to copy this thing? Mm. You should just be able to hit copy right here. Oh, there we go. Boo-hoo. Oh, now I can't see this. Now where are you trying to go? Notification. There, there it is. <laughs> that says sub notification. And that's what I'm wanting to do. And then what do you want me to do? Paste it in there. I'm just 
far as the music goes, I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to try this again, see if one pops out. Okay. Okay. You'll be fine. You'll know. You'll hear it. I know. I was turning back over here so I can see the live stream. Oh, my bad. Yeah. The talking in case someone wants I, to chat. I don't know. This is, I mean, it's kind of informal and fun. This is kind of neat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how everybody else feels about it. <laughs> we'll see how terrible it looks when I'm done, or when I, after I'm done messing around. <laughs> and we always say, "Oh, it'd be fine to just do whatever and try it out," but <laughs> in reality, is that really what it is? It's. It's scary just winging it and sharing things without any practice. I'm trying. Have faith. It'll turn into something. I'm always telling everybody, you know, you practice makes perfect. Practice, practice. I don't know about this paper. It's kind of rough. It works, honey. <laughs> Mr. Hobby Haven spent 35 minutes in here trying to make the woohoo sound. <laughs> I was laughing in my other room because every couple of minutes you'd hear a new woohoo. I'm like, what are you doing in there? I think he's getting a little too much excitement out of that. Is this supposed to pop up on the on the screen too? <laughs> it's just supposed to make that noise.
Okay, so now let's try using our um, zest it here. This is like odorless minerals, mineral spirits only. It smells like oranges. <laughs> yep, smells just like an orange. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit into this cup. I'm assuming I won't need that much. But then if I mess it all up, I won't have to worry about going in there with that. So let's do... Okay. Hey, will you give me a paper towel? Yeah, sure. I forgot my paper towel. Mr. Hobby Haven, we'll go get that. Oh, that's a good idea. A piece of paper underneath of the this. That's a good idea. I think that's just the um It's not the that's the paper's got this texture on there. Um Maybe we can use this bibling map. Oh, here, as long as we got it up, let's clean this up. Whoops. Was it popping up at LPS or was it just pop? I didn't see anything over there. Oh, that's why. This is why. Thanks. Here we go. No, let's see. There we go. Now it should be working. Yeah. Jeanette, might I suggest? Jeanette, you can suggest anything you want. Yeah, you suggest. We take, you know, things to she do. Takes criticism. I take criticism. I don't and mind. And praise. And, and lots and lots of praise. Okay, so we're going to take it off the board now. We'll just put it on this. I was just worried about it making a huge mess on my area. Okay. So now we're going to try adding this to our stuff. What did my paper towel? Let's move these over here real quick. So I've got my paper towel. I got my zest it. So you supposedly dip this into the stuff, pat it off, tap it on your paper towel. There's a lot of steps for this. And then you go over here and you swirl it around. And it moves the stuff around. Until it runs out. And then you're supposed to get more. Um, that showed up in the corner of the OBS thing. Okay, I can see how this little paintbrush here I picked out is not going to be big enough for anything. I think maybe it needs a bigger one? I don't know. I'm unsure on it. This definitely does not look like grass. Oh, wait, it's only the first layer. Okay, calm down, Heather.
<laughs> is it looking like anything like grass? What's a back look like? Hmm. Okay. So far, so good, I guess. A different brushstroke. Oh, Mr. Hobby Haven says I should try a different brushstroke. Okay, let's try it out. Let's go. <laughs> when I get all done and this looks like crap, I'm going to blame Mr. Hobby Haven that I didn't practice first. <laughs> uh, he's He knows that he's going to be in trouble for that. <laughs> okay, let's try like this. It's supposed to like make it all go together. That's why I think the circles kind of make it swirl it around on the paper. But then you're supposed to come in and put in more coats. You're not supposed to have like one coat you're supposed to do. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, maybe Mr. Hobby Haven has the right idea. Okay, so don't do circles. Try to do like grass. Okay, let's try that. I want you girls to know I feel pretty ridiculous. This is probably how people feel in my class when I'm like, just practice, you'll get better. <laughs> oh, but in the background, it's kind of all mushed together. So we're not gonna have to have grass until we get down here. So it's gotta kind of be all swirled together up here into a big blob. And then, You add more, you're going to put more pencil on after you do the swirling thing. You got to put multiple coats. It's not like Prisma pencils where we do one coat and or two coats or three coats and we're done. You have to put a bunch evidently. I gotta stop buying art supplies because I don't even know how to use the art supplies I've got. Gotta take my own advice and do a lot of practicing.
<laughs> oh, Mr. Hobby Haven, you're too funny. What is that supposed to pop up for? Oh, we better turn over here to the... <laughs> It shows up on the OBS thing. I never see it show up over on the other thing. I'm pretty sure maybe for this bigger area, I should have a bigger brush. That's my thought on this. Is this little brush probably isn't the right size. Okay, so anyway, then you're supposed to, let's dry it. No time for waiting. Let's get out the puffer. I'm impatient. I don't have time for this drying. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be the masterpiece I'm going to want to keep. Okay. I'm thinking that it's going to need... Let's have it dry. Okay, so I'm going to run to my other room and I'm going to get a bigger paintbrush. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get a bigger one. So maybe when we do our next coat, maybe we could use this big fat one and it will maybe work a little bit better because <laughs> it's not looking that great right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and do, let's start with our dark green. Let's see, is it dry yet? It doesn't look dry. I don't know. I've never done it before. Okay, well, we're just going to go with some more. Let's try it. Okay, so up here at the top, it's still kind of, it doesn't, we're going to add grass at the end, I think. So let's go ahead and do our more dark green. Let me just say, when I watch other YouTube people do this on their channel, it looks awesome. Right away. So obviously they practiced a lot. I'm not sure I'm liking this paper either. It's kind of crusty. It's got a bunch of, like, holes in it. Maybe I was supposed to use the other side. It looks the same from this side as it does on this side, but maybe when you flip it over, it was smoother on the other side. Makes me want to try some on this side. Here, let's try it over here. Yeah, this side doesn't seem like it has as many holes like on the other side. Let's try putting some stuff on that. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Okay, so this side looks like it has... This side looks awfully patchy. See how much holes it looks like there's in there? But when I did this side, it doesn't look like that. <laughs> it 
Okay, they look the same when I looked at them from the front. Okay, we're going to continue on. Not much we can do about it now. But this side looks like it's got, like, giant crevices on it. Oops, it's still wet right there. Yeah, this side looks like it's got a bunch of little circle things on it. When I looked at it, it didn't look like one side was textured. They both looked, when I picked it up, they both look exactly the same. Both sides. This side, when we started, did not look like it had these little holes on it. It just looked like this side with the brownish color. I guess later I'll be watching some more videos. tape stuck to my hand. Let's turn him this way. Maybe go like this. Go a different direction. <laughs> he looks like he's sitting in a honeycomb.
<laughs> Thanks, Jeanette. <laughs> Don't. It just takes practice. Isn't that what I'm always saying? Practice, practice. I'm not going to give up. I want to learn to do colored pencils like Sheldine. And I want to do learn to do water painting, watercoloring like the misfit girl, Carrie. <laughs> but it's going to require some practicing. Okay. So let's try putting the stuff on. I'm afraid to do even go to the poor raccoon. The poor thing's going to look so sad. Okay. Okay, let's try going like this. Looks like a giant mess. <laughs> but the bigger brush does help it like move around a little bit more. Oh, that looks so sad. <laughs> you want to see? Yes. Mr. Hobby Haven has put the, um, Sheldine's channels down, down in the description. If you guys want to go check her out, she has an awesome channel. She's practiced a lot. This is a pretty soft brush, so it's not all like, um, bristly. I call it soft. I think you're gonna have to have I'm gonna need a lot more practice with putting the stuff on there the solvent part that's I'm pretty sure you probably have to have just the right amount and spread it around just so and
Okay, it's kind of grass-like. Oh, Miss Robbie Haven says you have to, if you want to go check out Sheldine's beautiful coloring, you need to refresh your page. And then it will show up in your description box down below the video. Okay, I guess that kind of looks like grass. Let's give it another coat. I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be more grass-like. So let's go with a little bit more. One more coat. Let's do one more coat. Is this dry? Let me check. I don't even know how to tell if it's dry. Oh, that's definitely not dry. Let's blast it with the heat tool. We're not supposed to do that part yet, Miss Robbie Haven. You gotta wait till you get the background part done. With colored pencils, it's all about putting on the million trillion layers. Mr. Hobby Haven, you're a fruit. 
I don't think we're gonna let Mr. Hobby Haven come up with these great ideas anymore. Okay. Now, I guess we'll try the solvent thing in one more time, and then we will start work on the poor raccoon. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is like the worst grass I've ever seen. I don't think I love this paper at all. I'm definitely going to have to try it over to see what's going on with the other side. Because this is terrible. Look at it. That doesn't look like grass. That looks like a bunch of holes in the paper. It doesn't look pretty at all. <clears throat> Hi, Sherry. Thanks for joining us. We're having fun coloring and doing a bunch of stuff I've never done before. Okay, so now, <laughs> I don't think we're going to improve on that. That looks pretty bad. Let's go ahead and get out some colors for our um, raccoon dude and see what we can do with how we can how terrible we can make him look. Okay, let's go with dark brown. This is what not to do when you're doing the pencils. Okay, so it's 946. Nine forty six. Okay. And he's got kind of like a little bit of a brownish reddish color up here. Let's do nine forty five. And maybe a little bit brighter. So I've got nine forty three. And then he's got like this light brownish, kind of yellow colored furry stuff. I'm thinking maybe 1084. And maybe 10 or 914. And we're gonna need some black still, so let's get some the black. And let's get some more brown. Let's do what did I pick so far? I picked 946. 
So this, but he's got some really dark brown up here. So let's do 947. Okay, let's try that. All right, so, oh, I'm gonna need the white too. Let's get that out. Let's start, <laughs> let's do his eyes first. Because maybe he'll look like something if we give him an eyeball. Okay, so he's got his little beady eyes over here. So let's go. I mean, he's got some black. Let's go do some black on his nose. get some warm gray out here <laughs> Lexi's loving the raccoon sharpen my pencil I love this pencil sharpener <laughs> you just stick it in there and it sharpens it for you Thank you. 
That poor little guy, he looks so sad. Oh. I don't know, Jeanette, if I will love it. I'm not loving it so far. <laughs> it's 
It's definitely an experience. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do his eye first. Let's just try to make him look like something. Poor little guy. He looks so sad and pitiful. Looks like a bear. <laughs> oh my goodness. He looks terrible. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. I should have I should have chose to color the <laughs> The new Moe's Digital Pencil Girl with the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go down here and add a little bit to his foot, and then let that dry. I don't think he's going to make it too far into my arsenal if I want to keep him forever. Poor little guy. He's looking pretty sad. Thank you. 
<laughs> the poor little thing. He's not looking that great. Okay, let's give him some more eyes. Let's work on it. Maybe another layer will make him look better. Mr. Hobby Haven, you're putting up a green screen now? <sighs> at least then you wouldn't have to look at all the crap behind me.
Thanks, Jeanette. <laughs> it's shaping up into something. Okay, let's go with some more of this. Let's try that. Uh oh, I lost his ear. <laughs> He's the pitifulest looking raccoon I've ever seen. Okay, so I can honestly say I hate this paper. Obviously, I need to practice or do some more research on this stuff. This looks, this is terrible. I would have been better off just putting it on my regular old white. Nina. And doing it that way. <laughs> pitiful. He looks pitiful. Okay, let's add some brown. He can't look any worse.
Yeah, this paper sucks, big fat ones. I don't like it. Look at him. He's pitiful looking. Here, let's give him some fear, some fur. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The poor little thing. He looks so sad. Let's give him some Gamasol. <laughs> oh, heavens. He's never going to look like... It. He looks like um, one of those... One of those one thing... Those kind of paintings, honey, that are... They don't really look like anything. <laughs> is that art impression? This is my impression of what this poor raccoon looks like. Uh, oh my goodness. He looks terrible.
I don't know where his hand went. It's disappeared. He no longer has a hand. He looks, he looks like something. I don't know. He's not that looking that fabulous. Impressionist, there you go. Impressionist art. <laughs> oh, he looks terrible. Let's do. Oh, you can't. He can't look any worse. Let's. <laughs> let's do. Give him some tone. We better give him some kind of outline here on his foot. Oh my goodness, that is the worst thing I have ever seen. <laughs> okay, let's give him a toenail. Maybe some little white furs will like him look good. <laughs> I don't I think he's beyond help now. Oh, I know what he needs. He needs to have um, some whiskers. Whiskers make everything better. <laughs> oh. I'm definitely going to need a frosty after this, honey. <laughs> See, as whiskers have improved him. He's looking so much better now. <laughs> Here, we'll give him a little dots for his whiskers to come out of. Oh, the poor guy. He looks so sad. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's give him some more fur down here. He needs to have some kind of fur. Let me just say, you're going to I'm going to need a lot more practice. This is pitiful. Thank you. 
heavens. <laughs> Don't be cruel to poor Jeanette. She does not want to have that. It's terrible. Look at it. He's looking so bad. Maybe, maybe he just needs some grass. He looks like a woolly monster. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Jeanette, you, you email me your address and I'll send you the poor thing. <laughs> he looks so bad. <sighs> poor little thing. He needs some love. Here, let's give him some whiskers in his hair. Whiskers in your hair make you always make you look cuter. <laughs> oh my goodness. He just needs some more something over here. He needs to have... Because he doesn't have any fur on this side. Let's give him some fur over here. Looks like a woolly creature. <laughs> okay, he needs some. I'm on the picture over here. He's got a bunch of hair sprouting off his head, so that's what he definitely needs. He needs some. Definitely needs some sprouting hair. Let's give him some white. White is always good. He's got a bunch of white ones over here. Let's go like this. Okay, let's give him some grass to stand on. He can't be standing on this terrible looking grass stuff. He needs to have some, some real grass. I think it's because his eye over here, his eye maybe needs some different color around it this eye. It's not quite so large. Why is it so big? Thank you. 
Okay, let's give him some grass. He needs some grass to sit on. As a matter of fact, Mr. Hobby Haven, I am pretty happy about that at this moment. I don't know why I let you talk me into these things. I gotta say no more. <laughs> Honey, you wanna do this today on the live stream? Okay, and from now on, I'm just gonna say no. <laughs> but I do say during class that I'm always willing to try something new, so. Even if it looks ridiculous, I think this pretty much proves my point. Okay, so my poor little uh, man there, let's blow him off. <sighs> that is it. He, doesn't he look exactly like the picture? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's wait. Let's put a little bit of this white grass in here too. All right, so there we go, guys. This is, you know, winging it with whatever you have and trying it out for real the first time online. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh.